so I don't know. You tell me if you can see. I will. And I can't. I I'll a... come closer. Do you want to sit on my little stool? Sure, right. Also, there's a chair right here. Yes, a I'll sit in. Chair. I'll sit in the director's chair. <laughs> Well, and you've got a film a film person on your camera here. Yes, I make films. <laughs> you are slightly in the dark, but you'll get more in the light, I assume. Um, so, uh, so in uh, in Macbeth, Macbeth is uh, kind of commander of an army, and he's just done really well in battle, and he's coming home, and he, you know, he's expecting, you know, because he's done so well, a little promotion from the king, King Duncan. And as he's coming home, his three witches, he passes these three witches in the street, and the witches go, hey, Macbeth, come here. And Macbeth goes over, and he's like, what do you want? And the witches have to go, hey, uh, Macbeth, you're going to be the king. And Macbeth is like, what are you talking about? How am I going to be the king? The king's still alive. And the witches go, ooh, and they disappear. <laughs> and then Macbeth <laughs> is freaking out, and he writes a letter to his wife, and then he gets home to his wife, and he's like, you know, I don't understand what these witches are talking about. How can I be the king and Lady Macbeth goes well you know what you have to do right and Macbeth goes no and she goes well you have to kill the king and Macbeth is like well, what do you slow down why would I why would I kill the king that doesn't make and Lady Macbeth is like oh okay never mind you know what that was you're not a man I get it so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps poking at him and prodding him until finally he, he she just breaks him down and he relents and, and decides to, he finally decides to do this so uh, meanwhile, King Duncan has come to his house and to give him this promotion, and they've had a big party, and Duncan, King Duncan was happy and drank and ate, and so now he's going to sleep in, in the guest room, and Beth is in the courtyard going to get him ready to go and murder him. Okay, so that's what's happening just before this scene that you're about to see. Okay, okay. yeah. yeah. castle outside King Duncan's chamber. Macbeth is about to murder the king. Go bid thy mistress when my drink is ready. She strike upon the bell. Get thee to bed. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. Art thou not fatal vision sensible to feeling as the sight? Art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat oppressed brain? I see thee yet in form as palpable as this, which I now draw thou marshalest me the way that I was going, and such an instrument I was to use. My eye, mine eyes are made the fools either the senses, or else worth all the rest. I see thee still. And on thy blade in dungeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs us to mine eyes now. The one half world nature seems dead, and wicked dreams abuse curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hecate's offerings, and withered murder allure by a sentinel, the wolf whose houses watch thus with a startling pace, with Teltu Tarkin's ravishing strides towards his design, moves like a ghost. Thou sour and firm set earth, hear not my steps, for fear thy very stones print on my whereabout and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it. Whilst I threat you lives, 
Words to the heat of deeds too cold breath gives. A bell chimes. I go and tis done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven. Or to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. That was great.